بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ان دس سیریز آف لیکچر وی ول ڈسکس سم امپارٹنٹ آرٹیکلس فرام میکینزم ٹو ناؤ وی آر اسٹارٹنگ فرام لیکچر نمبر ون دیٹ از بیس آن اوپین آف میکینک ٹو ٹیئر ون دس از فار میکینک انجینئرس اینڈ فار بی ایس انڈر گریجویٹ پروگرام What is mechanical theory? It can be defined as mechanical theory is a branch of mechanics that studies the internal effects of stress and strain in a solid body. It is important to remember about internal effects of stress and strain in a solid body. Body should be solid, and we are taking internal effects. Stress is associated with the strength of the material. Whereas strain is defined as measure of deformation of the body. Now I will discuss some basic definition from engineering static and mechanical material one. Force, force uh, is uh, defined in two ways: action of one body on another. Another way is the agency that tends body to move or become at rest. Since force is a vector quantity, so these three things are required. to specify a force in mechanics of material 1 there are two and these are magnitude direction and point of application of force point of application of force is is important for deformable bodies means in mechanics of material whereas line of application of force is enough in rigid body mechanics force or load can be subdivided into surface loads and body forces surface load are those in which surface come in contact it can be classified as concentrated force and distributed loading concentrated force are those if force is applied at a point or small area of contact is been there whereas distributed loading is if force is acted over a larger surface area of the body distributed loaded can be further divided into uniformly distributed load udl and varying loads triangular varying loads body force in body force it is due to existence of the body there is no physical contact of bodies with each other this includes gravitational force electromagnetic field and all these in engineering static we have discussed equilibrium here we are just recalling equations of equilibrium that are important to find that's force reactions and all this stuff equilibrium of body requires both a balance of force and balance of moment balance of forces to prevent body from translating and balance of moment to prevent body from rotating rotation mathematically sigma f is equal to 0 and sigma m about o should be zero in 3d cartesian coordinate system these equation can be resolved into respective three components sigma f is should be zero summation of all forces along y axis should be zero sigma f z should be zero sigma m about x axis should be zero sigma m about y axis should be zero sigma m about z axis should be zero normal force this force acts perpendicular to the area normal mean perpendicular to the area it is well whenever external load tends to push or pull on the two segment of the body so if you look at this diagram b this is the surface and normal to this is this one so here the force applied is n that is normal force shear force shear force lies in the plane of the area it is tangent to the area it lie in the area it well when the external load tend to pre- cause two segment of the body to slide or one another slide mean there lies in the area uh, uh, they are tangent to the area like if again in this diagram if this is the area so this force that this this force v it is lying in the area and this will be called a shear force v then torsion moment of torque this fact is well when the external load tend to twist one segment of the body with respect to other about an axis perpendicular to the area So if this is the area, this is the area, cross area. Let's say perpendicular to this is this axis. 
so about this axis about this normal axis moment will be torque cardinal moment as written here whereas bending moment m the bending moment is caused by the external load that tend to bend the body about an axis lying within the plane of the area so this is the plane of the area and this axis lies in the plane of area about this axis moment will be bending moment because it lie the axis about which moment is being caused is lying in the area so here you can see if that is a normal force along x axis along y axis there is shear force v and about z axis that will be pointing outward of the uh, screen will be about that z axis will be bending moment m o passing through the point o procedure for analysis uh, important things are sports reaction we will find the if there is some unknown reactions we will find and for that we will draw the free body diagram and then if equation of equilibrium are applied to find unknown forces n and v and direct solution for bending moment and torque uh, you can uh, thoroughly read this for better understanding stress very important stress is the intensity of internal force again when there is the word of stress is being used there it is understood it is internal force so intensity of internal force acting on a specific plane passing through a point normal stress the intensity of force acting normal to area delta a is referred to as normal stress sigma in this diagram if you look at this c x is normal to this area so along this force applied is delta f c divided by a area delta a limit and limit is applied delta a approaches to zero means area is very very small then this will be called as sigma z sigma for normal sigma z so uh, it is normal force along the axis if normal force of stress pull on the area it is tensile pull means tensile tension is there and it is called as positive and when there is a push it is compressive and it will be called as negative shear stress the intensity of force acting tangent to the area at that it was normal perpendicular to the area in normal stress but here in shear stress it is tangent 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 to delta a is called as shear stress tau since in this diagram this is the area x axis and y axis lying in the area these are tangent to the area so there will be two shear stress for this surface tau z x z mean it is normal uh, axis that is normal to the area and x along x axis uh, shear is being uh, uh, acted and in tau z y tau z again uh, it is uh, normal to z and y uh, along this shear was acted we have discussed uh, thoroughly in mm1 general state of stress so in cartesian coordinate system x y z we will take a cube and on the cube there will be six faces and at, at every face there will be two uh, there will be three stresses one normal two shear so in this way there will be how many stresses total stresses will be 18 and in these 18 six will be normal and 12 will be shear for equilibrium to be fulfilled sigma x if applied here same will be applied at the back side so these will be equal that's why these 18 stresses will be uh, limited to just 9 and in 9 there will be 3 normal forces and 6 shear and for homogeneous isotropic material uh, we have find out that earlier ta x z will be equal to ta z x so so these six 
stresses will just uh, limit to three so there will be six unknown state of stresses out of 18 strain major of the function in a body is called as strain uh, obviously it will have two types one is normal strain another shear normal it is def uh, denoted by epsilon and it is de uh, defined as change in the length or original length see uh, epsilon average is equal to l minus l naught or l naught where l is elongated length and l naught is original so l minus l naught will be change over original is called as normal strain change strain the formation not only cause line segment to elongate or contract but they also cause them to change direction so if there is change in the orientation angle is being changed then it will be called as shear strain and shear strain is defined as gamma is equal to 90 minus theta or pi by 2 minus theta and here is undeformed this is deformed and it is positive because the answer of this 90 minus theta will be positive and in this case theta is larger than 90 so answer will be negative it will be called as negative gamma like you can see here in 3d un undeformed element and this is deformed element beam sign convention these are very important and uh, you should know very well when we will cover uh, slope and deflection of beams uh, we will uh, often use these uh, sign convention positive external loading distribution load if it is applied upward it is positive and positive internal shear stress if left side of the beam section it is upward it is positive and right side if it is downward it is positive and positive internal moment if it is clockwise at left side it is positive and if it is anti-clockwise at right side it is positive thank you very much